you don't realize, even as a minimalist, how much crap you have. And yes, I say crap, even if it's stuff that you actually use. But where was I? Um, yeah, you don't realize how much crap you have until you put it all out in the open. I've been a hypocrite. I moved recently and a friend actually offered to help me move, but I said, nah, I'm a minimalist. I don't have that much stuff. It shouldn't take me that long. Plus, it's the third time that I've had to move in less than a year. And last time, it literally took me one Uber trip and one bike trip to move everything. Now, I have accumulated some stuff in the past few months and I had some visitors from back home bring me some of my camera equipment just in case. So I figured it will take a little bit longer, a few hours, maybe half a day. It ended up taking almost two full days. As I was packing my stuff, I kept looking at everything, thinking, what is all this crap? Where did it come from? At my old place, I had enough storage space that most of my stuff could be put away. It could be hidden. Did I ever need those things if I had to stuff them away? Now I'm in a smaller place with almost no storage space. We're biologically wired to hoard stuff. Our caveman ancestors had no idea where their next meal was going to come from. So they would hoard as much as possible. It was a matter of survival. Although I am a trillion light years away from being a hoarder, knowing that I'll have to move soon has somewhat forced me to hang on to things that I don't need. Thinking, well, maybe I'll need this at my new place. Organizing, or hiding stuff as I'd like to call it, is easier than dealing with the important stuff. I've been guilty of this myself, as you can see by this guilt-ridden b-roll. I sometimes find myself organizing my stuff, but I'm actually just procrastinating. I'm a believer of out of sight, out of mind, but just because something is out of sight, doesn't mean it's out of mind. I think a better expression is out of access, out of mind. Feel free to use that quote. So now I'm at my new place, my stuff is spread out all over the floor, and I just close my eyes for a moment hoping that it will all just disappear. But that didn't happen, so after procrastinating for a little bit, I decided to pull up my pants and put most of it away. The stuff that I had been using, that I knew I would use again. The essentials. Just as I finished tidying up, I realized that I needed to make one more trip for some stuff that I had forgotten. On my way back from the trip, I figured this would be a good opportunity to play the minimalist game, since it was the beginning of the month. If you're not familiar with the minimalist game, you basically start at the beginning of the month, you put away one item on the first day that you're going to give away, two items on the second day, three on the third, four on the fourth, five on the fifth, six on the sixth. Should I keep going? However, I'll probably not play the game for the whole month because then I would end up giving everything away, including the clothes I have on right now and then I'd have to start counting my hair. A good amount of this stuff will actually go back home to the US, most of it being camera gear that I asked some visitors, as I mentioned earlier, to bring for me, just in case. For example, I have three tripods with me, but I've never even needed to use two simultaneously. So why do I have three? In my defense, I upgraded one of the tripods I was using, which was doing its job fine, but the new one actually made my job a lot easier. So I don't regret that. As for clothes, I have enough clothes that I can go a solid two weeks, probably a bit longer, without doing laundry. But then it takes me another two weeks to do laundry because, as you probably know by now, I wash everything by hand. In conclusion, regarding minimalism and anything else in life, follow my advice and do as I say. And I'll try to do the same. What I'm about to say, I knew since a while ago, but only learned during this move. After all, experience is the best teacher. Minimalism is a lifestyle. It's an ongoing process. There's never going to be a point when every single thing you own has its own place and serves a purpose and you need nothing else. The point is rather to accept that there will always be some excess and on the other hand, you can do without that thing which you think you absolutely need. If you're new here, it would be great if you would subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you've ever been a hypocrite. I won't judge, I promise. 
and I hope to see you next week for another installation on minimalism, specifically on how to adapt as a minimalist in a changing environment.